Save This Old Trawler is about one couple's journey to save an old trawler and get it back on the water. This episode is all about the hatch. We found a little rod around the uh, hatch here that we had that was bad. Um, tearing out the area here. I'm trying to get it prepped so we can uh, put the new hatch cover I built on. But I've got a lot of cleanup work. You can see the fiberglass up around there. I'm going to have to trim it back and we're going to have to rebuild sections there. That little skirt. That really is a, just a cosmetic piece there, but stuff gets behind it if you don't have it. But right here around the hatch, we had a soft spot. You can tap it with a hammer. You can hear the difference. It, you go from a high ping kind of noise to a thud. Um, and when you hear that thud, like, like you're hitting a pile of Play-Doh or something, that's when you've got rotten wood underneath. Uh, and you have different varying tones in between depending on what it's made out of. Uh, this is a, uh, a cord deck. This is a uh, balsa cord deck. You can see the balsa wood here that comes out. This is a, I took a saw, just a regular circular saw, cut a pattern back in the areas that are affected, okay? What I'm doing now is I'm going to test cut it, so I cut it back one extra, about an extra foot here in case I needed to pull that piece up too. Actually, I only ran into a few inches of rotten area, about six inches. So what I did is I cut out a section, two little strips here of fiberglass. These are the two pieces I cut out here and here. They'll have to be totally stripped and sanded and redone. They're covered with this rotten wood material on the back. You can see this here. All I did was take this oscillating tool with a basic cutting, multi-purpose cutting blade. And you see it removes most of the, the material. You have to do that on both sides, on the fiberglass, and then you have to do it on the deck, what's left underneath there, which is another piece of fiberglass you've just seen the back side of it. You have to do that to strip the old wood off. As you can see, this wood here is still solid. This wood here is still solid. I'm gonna strip it all the way back. That's where I cut back. I cut back until I was in the solid wood, and, I'm, and I've cut back about twice the distance in the solid wood. And I'm going to cut that, and I'm going to cut a piece of plywood, and I'm going to epoxy coat both sides and epoxy bed it in here, and then I'm going to re-glass it back in. I'm gonna use the panels I've already cut and glass them down. Uh, actually epoxy them down to the core material I put in and then I'm going to back the seams out here I'm going to actually go in and route an area out in the seams and sand it back at about three to six inches all the way around and I'm going to go in and, and bed in glass and fill it uh, some of this you won't see some of this you, you she might be able to videotape for you but here's basically how I'm going to do it when I'm stripping this out here you can still see there's still plug in here which is that core okay all right, I got most of it out already, but there's like a section right here. This is a good example right here. How to get this out. All I got, just take this. It's out. It's fairly simple. That is a good solid piece of dry wood that you can tell by the color and the texture and the feel of it. Uh, it just doesn't have any uh, wetness to it. Um, we had, like I said, we had about a four to six inch band of, of wet wood here. And you can see it right here. That's it. That's what it looks like when it rots out inside here, inside the core. That's what they call, a lot of people refer to as wet decker or, or uh, delaminated core and all kinds of things you'll hear it called. But it's, what it is is you got a rotten core. Uh, typically, a lot of these older boats are using uh, balsa or teak coring. And, they, and any of those woods will rot when sandwiched between two pieces of fiberglass and water gets in. Once water's in, it's in. And it doesn't go anywhere and it just sits and rots and it can, sometimes can be a small spot like this one or it can be a huge spot uh, we looked at multiple boats when we bought this boat we knew it had some wet deck spots here and there wasn't sure of the extent uh, I'm still not sure of the extent on the entire boat this is the large boat and I'm going to run into some more spots I know around the other hatch I have on the back of the sun deck I have another small area probably smaller than this uh, but if you let it go it causes real problems it's better to fix it, go in and cut it out, dry it out, clean it up, and then go back in and put new core to the material to it. The trick is for me, when I do the core material, I like to cut my core material to fit. I'm gonna epoxy all the way around it so the epoxy can penetrate into it. And then when I put it back in, I bed it into epoxy so it bonds to the glass when it's there. Uh, if you'll put an epoxy layer in there, and then you push it down into it and allow it to bed in there, it'll actually fill up around the cracks on the sides it'll get a good piece in there then I do the same thing when I put the top layer on I let that epoxy cure a little bit I don't let it fully cure I let it start to set off and when it goes off a little bit then I'll come back and 
put a leather pox layer over top and I'll take the, the, cork, the uh, fiberglass panels I have cut out. They'll be cleaned, of course, and prepped. They'll be painted with epoxy, fresh paper epoxy on one side, rough sanded a little bit so they'll bond, push them into the new epoxy and now I'll clamp them up. I'll actually put a piece of wood across here on the corners, pull it down, I'll screw that down into the deck around the sides and screw it down into the solid material. That way to push that panel back down and make it make full contact. If you do that, you'll get a good contact bond. When it cures, you give it a you know a good day to cure. You unscrew the, the wood, it'll pop, pull right up. The panel will be fixed firmly and you'll be down in there. And then like I said, you come back and all these lines here I have cut, you just sand back the area around it. I'm gonna be sanding this whole deck off anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it back a good bit. Then I'm gonna sand it into the fiberglass a little bit, not a lot, about a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch in spots. And the, where the cuts themselves are, I'll cut it down like a V. It'll be I'm gonna kind of rounded out. Then I'll go back and pack the glass in those areas to make sure I get a good bond there. I'll uh, and I'll epoxy the glass into there. I am using a UV grade epoxy. Uh, it is a UV resistant epoxy where most epoxies are not. Uh, it can actually stand being out in the sun for prolonged periods of time without ruining. Where most epoxies get very brittle and, and turn golden brown and then they turn a crack out. They don't like, not like polyester resin. Polyester resin will take the sun a lot better. Gel coat and the normal fiberglass resins are polyester. I use epoxy. Epoxy is a much more waterproof product uh, and it bonds to pretty much anything and also penetrates wood nicely. But anyway, that's what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to go ahead and finish stripping this out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like us, give us a thumbs up, or subscribe for updates. Thank you.